everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ken Caramed Podcast. My name is Gay Payton, and I'm a physiotherapist. Joining me today is Dr. Miriam Hassanzadeh, who is a chiropractor. Uh, together, we're going to be discussing how physiotherapy and chiropractic work together to help solve many of the problems that our patients at Ken Caramed Walnut Clinic show up with. <music> During this half hour podcast, we're going to be discussing a few things. First is knowing the key differences between a chiropractor and a physiotherapist. Second is understanding how a physiotherapist and chiropractor will work together. Third, knowing when to go to a chiropractor first or a physiotherapist first. Fourth, what conditions will actually be treated better by a physiotherapist versus a chiropractor. And last, sharing some success stories and examples of how we work together at the clinic. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, Dr. Miriam, it's uh, nice to see you here. Thank you for listening to me ramble on with the introduction. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Uh, Thank you for having me here. And it's my first uh, time doing the podcast. Hopefully we enjoy uh, and uh, our patient is going to benefit from that podcast. Any feedback, we appreciate that at the end of our podcast. Awesome. Hopefully, we'll hear both of us back on the podcast, unless Dr. Rafael fires us for <laughs> not doing what he wants. So, all right, let's start with the uh, most important question first. Uh, what do you think is the biggest difference between, say, a physiotherapist and a chiropractor? Uh, uh, like uh, I, I think as a chiropractor, uh, the big difference between chiro and uh, physio is like basically uh, we diagnose patients from the problem from the nervous system and basically a spine. Uh, when they have a neck problem or low back problem, we try to find if that's coming from the uh, basically nervous system or it's coming from the uh, basically a, sp- a, spina- a spine and then if it's coming from the muscles or from the ligaments uh, then I think physiotropies are coming to picture what do you think yeah I completely agree with you I think you guys are really good at assessing the mobility of the spine really do you believe yeah. that <laughs> I do I do. <laughs> okay um, mobility of the spine different joints things like that uh, I, I do find physiotherapists with our expertise we're good with kind of translating functional problems into the diagnoses so mm-hmm. um, for example if you're having trouble doing something specific then I find physiotherapists can figure out what's going on from there but then you guys, chiropractors, you're really good with finding, okay, if there's intrinsic problems from the spine stemming outwards. Mm-hmm. So com- commonly, I always tell my patients, you know, chiropractors are going to look from the inside out. Physiotherapists are going to look from the outside. Yeah, I think that's a very good example you give to your patients because a uh, lot of patients actually ask me, what is the difference between physio and chiro? And uh, the same example you, you, you tell your patient, I said the same thing. So I think... We are all um, going to same amount of the schooling time and uh, learning the anatomy of body, but you guys are specials on the muscle ligaments, exactly what you said, from outside to in, and we are from in to out. So if the problem is coming from the disc injury, from the, you know, a kind of uh, spine, then we figure it out. And that's why I find it's working together very well. Yeah. I think another really, really obvious difference between physio and chiro is that you guys can adjust, right? Yeah, mobilization mobilization, adjustment. Mobilization, exactly. Like commonly, you know, what most people might say is the crack my bones. Yeah, which is I hate it. I always tell to my patient crack is a drug. So please don't say I crack you because then I I, I feel like I'm the drug dealer here (laughs) selling you the crack. But yes, it's mobilization and uh, like uh, basically manipulation of the any joint in the body. So we are expert on that, and you guys are expert at the that same area with the muscle ligaments and uh, like you know. That's why I, I noticed like you know my patient really benefits from both of them, Caro and Physio. Yeah, completely. And I think that that actually is a really great segue to go on to the next question, which is how chiropractors and physiotherapists work together. I think you a little bit alluded to that, Doctor Ram, by saying. Um, how you adjust the joints and loosen up the tension and things like that. Because uh, I'll be honest, as a physiotherapist, it's unless I'm using modalities, so those are like, you know, the electrical tingly things like TENS machine or the Dr. Ho's yeah. commercial that you see, um, physiotherapists don't have um, something like the adjustment that chiropractors do and have spent years learning where it can release the tension in the joint or things like that immediately. So. 
Um, people will come in with tension, pain, and they'll feel a difference really, really quick. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a little unfortunate, but physiotherapy is kind of like an endurance race. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of do the things that we teach you, follow the things that we, uh, we kind of um, show to you to give you long-term relief. But I find uh, in my experience that the chiropractor is really when we work together as a team, you guys do an amazing job lowering down that pain very quick. Yeah, and also one of the thing I like to mention here that we work very well hand and hand, like range of motion of any joints. So I noticed that the, when the patient over the time they don't they lose the range of motion of any joint, especially in the spine over the time with the micro trauma or the habit. When they use the, they just lose that uh, range of motion. Uh, slowly they start building up tension in the muscle and ligaments, and then other problems started. But when we loosen up that, uh, like basically, like we we bring that uh, range of motion to maximum of the where you used to be, it really takes the tension out of the muscle and ligaments, and patients function better. So that's why, like usually, I always check the range of motion of any. Uh, like basically when they come with the neck pain, I make sure the range is good and then I send it to physio for the further, uh, like, you know, kind of uh, following the treatment. Uh, so as you mentioned, the second question, uh, like, you know, understanding how car and physio work together, I, as I said, uh, we can really help with the range of motion and bringing the uh, spine in the better condition. And then you guys can take over it to like basically maintain the, like you know the functionality of that area for the rest of their life so basically yeah. they get the pain free with us and then they come to you guys and you guys try to torture them with yeah. your with your <laughs> skills and then as you mentioned a very good point that tense machine and all of those those are the things that people can use it at home we can use it at the same time when they are with us for the acute cases but for chronic patient i think they can use it at home and then they need our speciality and our are like basically diagnosis and our, our, our expertise to help them here at the clinic with the things they cannot have at home. Exactly, exactly. I think a lot of people, they've probably experienced this, what I'm gonna about to say, but, and I'm sure I see it all the time and you probably see it, Dr. Miriam, but basically a lot of our patients, when they get better, as soon as they start to feel better, you usually, they disappear. Yeah. They, they, they think like, <laughs> oh, I'm healed, I feel great. I think that's not our patient, it's just the human nature. Human nature. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I, I know a lot of people, you know, they wanted to, like, exercise again. Uh, but, I mean, during lockdown right now, there's nothing that's open. But even just go running, right? Mm -hmm. Or cleaning the house. Like, it's starting to be summer. People want to open the door, open, open the windows, clean their home. Uh, and the second they start feeling better, they're like, you know what? I'm feeling good. I probably don't need another appointment. And I need to, I can just go clean the house. And... Then the like problem is started. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. They say, oh, Dr. May, I bent and my back went out. I said, no, no, that was there before. Exactly. But yeah, as you mentioned, because um, this is a very good point you brought it up. A lot of our patients, as soon as they pain, uh, they like they feel pain free, they stop coming. But I always tell to my patient, pain has to reach to 90% of your threshold for brain to be registered. So that's why pain is not good indicated of the you needing physio or caro is your functionality. Can you run like before? Or can you do the same housework? Can you do the same amount of driving you used to do? So those are should be our key measurement instead of just pain. Oh, Dr. Maya, my neck does not hurt, but that's not good measurement. So let's change. And I thanks God the, the, the culture of Ken Caromed wellness clinic got changed. So the last two years, I noticed our patients really focusing on their functionality mm -hmm. instead of, oh, Dr. Mayam, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. No, no, they changed their word and say, oh, Dr. Mayam, I have better shoulder check or I have better, uh, like, you know, performance. So I think um, pain should not be our, our measurement. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And yeah. if, if you don't agree, then I'm sure once you've experienced it, and you come back being like, you know what, I was better, but then I cleaned the house or mm -hmm. I did something and now it's messed up. You'll come back and you'll say, now I know, Gabe, now I know what you're talking about. Now mm -hmm. I know, Dr. Mary, what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, our patient getting smarter. That's yeah, the exactly, good thing, yeah. exactly. which is I love about it. We learn through, through the trials. Exactly. exactly. Now, uh, to answer another common question that a lot of people ask is, they tell me, you know, I don't know. Should I, should I see Dr. Miriam? Should I see you? Like, who should I see first? When should I see you? Uh, and I think sometimes th that does require a little bit of explanation, but to be honest, uh, I find it's actually a lot simpler than, than, than what it seems like. It might seem intimidating, but it's actually a very simple answer. And I'll see what you think, Dr. Mary, but I explain it uh, very clear. I say, if you just did something 
and the pain is really bad, go see the chiropractor, basically. Mm -hmm. If you're having a lot of pain and you're having trouble sleeping because of it, you're having trouble even doing your day-to-day -day stuff, and it's a brand new injury, first of all, ice it. Mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. go book an appointment to see the chiropractor i think you have a very, very good point because of the technique we used uh, like as a chiropractor manipulation or mobilization of the joint or the area we distract the pain so acute patient or patient they just got the injury we really distract this pain for them that's why the first time they after us they feel very great and they are uh, they are happy as soon as they are on our table and then we do some mobilization and manipulation before they leave, like as soon as they are going to pay um, uh, their treatment fees, they say, oh, I'm feeling better. I think that's the technique we use with mobilization, distracting the pain. So basically mm -hmm. we distract the pain, they feel a little bit better, and then we follow up that. So to answer this question, I always tell to my patient, uh, like, you know, we both physio and caro has a good uh, ability to diagnose. Mm -hmm. But if you want to get a good relief for the few uh, like days uh, and then we try to solve the, the problem deeply uh, come and see a chiropractor because with the my mobilization manipulation icing it ifc it or all of those techniques to distract the pain you try to be a little bit happier and sleep better and a little bit be in good mood because i know people that are in pain they're really in bad mood yeah, so you're miserable, yeah right? you're miserable yeah. and you are also affecting all their like family yeah, members yeah exactly lose, like, patience you get angry at the exactly ones. yeah exactly so uh, so i think it's good to see a first uh, chiropractor and then uh, long time to function better try to not this problem come back again to become chronic and they experience once a year again oh dr man this has happened two years ago i'm experiencing it again why so there is something wrong and at that point i try to dig in more and solve the problem and then send it uh, to the uh, physiotherapy so i am laughing now because um, sometimes people they don't uh, believe on caro or they don't believe on physio and then yeah. like you know they get scared and say oh i need to go see a physio or i need to see a caro but i think education is the key so yeah. when you educate your patient thanks god internet exists and people are having more access of the better sources those days instead of just trusting some of the uh, other practitioners uh, that I think sometimes they talk without having knowledge about chiropractic or physio mm -hmm. that give us good opportunity to educate our patient and explain and I think patient when they see the honesty and they see that we really care about them because yeah. we want that problem goes away we don't want to be good for one month or two months as yeah. soon as they start running or they stop sitting long term or oh, my back hurt my neck pain back exactly. so i think um that's the my suggestion see yeah. the chiropractor if you're really in pain you are in acute case and if you want this problem goes away so let's dig in more it and see why this is coming back is your uh, like you are weak or you yeah. don't have uh, enough strength let's yeah. go to physio that's, that's my approach yeah. yeah i think you, you hit on a really good point in terms of the education as well i think mm -hmm. with the rise of the internet and google and yeah i know like that, <laughs> There's Dr. Google, which I don't like, because sometimes yeah. people will come in with their own diagnosis, which is fine, but it, it'll increase your anxiety a lot of times, yeah. right? But also, a lot of uh, sources are not good. Exactly. So please, I, 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 from here, I ask my patients, if you guys are listening to me uh, from the podcast, please uh, always have a good sources that they really uh, have a good uh, content. Don't trust everything and don't trust whatever uh, like you know google telling you or the websites make sure they're coming from the very good sources that's why you don't get your anxiety or you don't get your uh, like um, like you know kind of you get a scare oh i should yeah. see a chiropractor i should see a physio and we are always here to help you call us email us and we can help exactly because a lot of times people might ask like why should i bother going to see someone because i can get all the answers from the internet and mm -hmm. exactly like you said well you're not going to get one answer you're going to get like a thousand possible problems that you're dealing with and you don't know the difference mm -hmm. and then also if something online somewhere tells you it's this you don't you have no idea where that's coming from mm -hmm. it could be just a computer generated like article it could it might not even be a real person so. and remember diagnosis is very important so if, for example you have a neck pain doesn't mean all the neck pain is in one category that's mm -hmm. right 
So I'm sure you experienced that with your patient. Oh, Dr. Mayo, I had a neck pain. I Google it, tell me I said. Sometimes you get worse with icing. If yeah. it's not acute and it's not inflamed, Correct. putting ice on it makes the muscle more contracted and you get more pain. So exactly. it's really having good diagnosis is the key. I yeah. think uh, Google cannot give you that. Exactly. That's a human can give you. <laughs> it's a human. I think we all need that little bit of human expertise, human yeah. touch, to just feel you have the trust component, right? Yeah. It's, it's like placebo. Sometimes people... When they're given sugar pills and they're told that this is a brand new medication yeah. and it's amazing, it works. They'll feel better. Yeah. But um, I think a lot of that comes from also the mental aspect, which mm -hmm. you, you don't really get ever from online. I think you have to see somebody in person and see that you trust them, right? So Especially at our field. You know, mm -hmm. I understand some uh, practitioners such as, such as psychologists and yeah. that you can see visually, I think. But I think our field, physio, car, massage, or all of the practitioners that... They work with their hands. Uh, mm -hmm. They need that human touch to be able to diagnose this. Yeah. You know, you need to palpate the area. You need yeah. to see if that area is hot, is cold, you know? Yeah. So I think uh, and that's... As a patient, I'm sure you feel better. Like if your back is hurting, you want somebody to like touch your back to just yeah. see, can you please touch it? Can you yeah. tell me what's wrong? Exactly. I mean that. Like I can give you some advice, but I'm not going to know 100% by looking at you. Yeah, exactly. And or some people call at the phone. Yeah, I am sure yeah, you have. Exactly. But That's do you think I have? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Like how, I don't know. I can't see. I have no idea what you did. Yeah. Like, exactly. So, no, I totally agree. I think early, early pain, very new pain, see the chiropractor. Or if you're, if you're having just problems doing something, it's not necessarily painful or your pain got better because of the chiropractor and you're trying to maintain that, that what you got, then you see the physiotherapist. And hand in hand, we work really, really well together. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. way we keep keeping uh, I'll be honest, uh, like um, I am practicing almost 11 years. At the beginning, I just had chiropractor in my offices. And then now I feel like um, handing, uh, since we add the chiro, uh, like a physio aspect to our clinic, our patients are much happier. They are much uh, understand their problems because as I said, chiropractor has their own expertise. Mm -hmm. Physio, they have expertise. We are not, uh, we cannot co not cover uh, each other because uh, they are like, you know, different schooling time, different, uh, different like basic expertise. And that's why we can complete each other, you yeah. know? So I think our patient, the last five, six years that we are working with them, uh, is yeah. really much happier and especially when you talk about them you, for example i tell okay again my patient has this problem what do you think you give me some feedback and then mm -hmm. i give you some feedback yeah. and that's really important for patients like uh, and i i think they they can reach to the goals much faster than yeah. just seeing one uh, chiropractor or just one physio just yeah, yeah exactly yeah, exactly the chemistry makes a big difference mm -hmm. even before like before when i was studying after i was studying and entered practice the same thing with physiotherapists we kind of we didn't like chiropractors and to My be honest firm. for the longest time i didn't for are you a student <laughs> <laughs> for but um i think when you find a team that you work well with mm -hmm. and some then that makes a big difference and that's mm -hmm. why i really love working with like all of you guys here mm -hmm. the chiropractic half at ken cairo because uh, i think we both have the same goal and we both want to do the same thing which is help people get better and stay better I think a lot of people, we, we all hear the whole And function story, better. Remember, our exactly. a, one of the things I really recommend my patients, like I am, like, you know, I am 42 now and <clears> I like <throat> to be active. I like to be function good until age of 70, 75. Yeah. And that really helps our patients that they know their, their limit, their functionality, and they don't, uh, like, you know, kind of they enjoy their lifetime, you know. And I think if uh, physio and caro can help and massage other practitioners, it shouldn't be just caro and physio. All of them are hand in hand and helps the patient to have a, like, you know, functional, function better during their lifetime. You know, they mm -hmm. can still running. They shouldn't stop running yeah. if their knee hurts, you know. Yeah. When you have to, unless you have a big trauma and you yeah. can. But if just, you know, I think that's why, like, both of us, we can help patients to function better and then long term they have a better lifespan instead of just at exactly. age of 40 stop playing hockey or yeah. at age of 50 you know i have a patient at age of 80 still he plays hockey and i'm so proud of him wow. because yeah that's honestly amazing. yeah that's, that's amazing honestly, yeah, yeah cool. like you know we need to be active because uh, uh, we are as uh, we are getting like our lifespan is getting basically bigger so you have a better like ideal 85 90 so let's function better yeah now the, actually again it's another really good segue but do you find for example are there any specific injuries or say even age group or 
anything like that or kind of uh, kind of patients that will respond better with chiropractic versus physiotherapy? Uh, like I'll be honest with you, I find with the young uh, kids, like between age of like, you know, 8 to 16, they respond very well with the chiropractor because when you guys give them some structure, they don't do it. That's right. So if you give them some exercises, I, I compare to my son. Yeah, so he doesn't sure. do uh -huh. his exercises, uh, like his posture exercises. But chiropractic, because they come regularly for adjustment, that helps the spine stay healthier. Mm -hmm. And then without the tension, and then is like really age correctly. That's, I think that made, that's, that's become really important now when kids are just staring at their phone like, yeah. 12 hours a day non-stop. Especially now during pandemic, they are exactly. 24 hours at the computer. Yeah, they're stuck on their computer, their mm -hmm. television, their mm -hmm. laptop, their mm -hmm. phone, their iPad, whatever it is, their tablet. They're always looking down. Their posture is always terrible. I've definitely noticed like a big difference in that kind of situation. Yeah, so I think this age group uh, respond very well with the, uh, like, you know, chiropractic care because it's just they come to office, they do some active care with us and they leave. But mm -hmm. with the uh, above 16, because they are mature enough to... Like, you know, get out. You, you hope they're mature <laughs> yeah. enough. I and then they'll that, do their exercises. Yeah, exactly. I think above 16 is both of them. But below 16, I notice, or 18, I notice it's just hard. It's better just at least have a chiropractic care. And yeah. then as they age and they choose their uh, hobby or activity, then they uh, do both chiro and physio to make sure that they're healthy, their spine, their joint, their muscles, everything stay healthy for them. For sure. I definitely, I've noticed a few trends. So, for example... When, when people are getting a lot of problems from a specific, having a constant specific position, so for example, office workers or uh, say um, specific professions like electrician or something like that where, or a welder where they might be in a very specific position for an elongated period of time, I find their joints get so stiff mm -hmm. that there is definitely a difference when they go see the chiropractor first versus coming to me right away. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can help as a physiotherapist for sure and try to help them reverse some of those problems, but they're usually so stuck. Like mm -hmm. just, they feel like concrete, right? Yeah. So I, I find chiropractors... Especially degeneration, you know, sometimes they yeah. get degeneration. And I noticed with the degenerative joints, uh, stiffness is gets built up so quickly that uh, it doesn't let... Uh, like you know that joint really get the maximum range and at this point you mentioned very good point the chiropractic also helps uh, and then uh, you know i think everybody benefit from chiro and physio i'll be honest mm -hmm. with you because we are like a machine and that's why yeah. i tell to my patient you guys as when the machine get older you need more maintenance you know exactly, you know exactly. well i think i found one area in particular that i think physiotherapists have excelled in uh, actually maybe not all physiotherapists but some you know there's always good and yeah bad in exactly anyway. But um, is at least prevention. So if, for example, eventually when people get better and they're maintaining their function, sometimes I always talk to them about the option of coming back once either a month or every few months or even every six months, to be honest. It's up to them. But letting me do like a whole body assessment, both in range of motion, muscle testing, ligament testing, because sometimes we can catch things really early. And if we can get you to strengthen yourself, to support yourself, that way you don't get injured, it's even better. It takes yeah. way less It's like, time. A, as you mentioned, it's a very good point you brought it. I should mention that to our patients. Uh, also, it's like dentists, you know, it's a culture. We learn to go see the mm -hmm. dentist every yeah. six months to yeah. clean up. And they always so, tell you to floss your teeth. Do you do it, Dr. Mary? Ex do yeah. You floss your teeth of twice course. a day? No, no, I don't do it. I do it once a month. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but you know, they get the, they get regular checkup and they sometimes uh, pick up on cavity that yeah. is really can be hidden yeah. there. The same with chiro and physio, yeah. you know, we can prevent things that can happen, you know, in few weeks, few days and really damage your disc or damage your ligaments sure. or joint. For I sure. think maintenance, you're right, is very important, but that's another, uh, I think, um, another content that maybe Dr. Yeah. Rami hire us next time. We can, <laughs> we can do that please content. Bring us back. Yeah, we'll please, please, please. <laughs> I want to be back. So, um, yeah, uh, we can open that concept maybe another sure. time because okay. I'm sure we don't want to make our audience uh, tired at this point. Yeah. But that's another content that is really good. And I promise uh, our audience that if Dr. Rami is happy with my job today, I, we okay. can talk about it next time. Yeah. yeah. Now, last, uh, last but not least, before the outro, will uh, is there has there been any sort of in the last however many years you've been practicing, is there kind of like a really really obvious something that really pops in your mind in terms of a very challenging situation or a very 
uh, celebrated situation where there was something so difficult or you thought you may not be able to help, but it actually made a huge difference. Does anything really come to mind? Either a very big challenge or uh, a very big success story. They're all success stories. If you guys they go to YouTube channel of Kate Caroman, <laughs> you can see one of my video actually oh my that God. I made that challenge for the patient that never could walk. And I mean, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I make it walk again. Of course, in during the 10, 11 years I work, I have a very successful story to share and also mm -hmm. uh, bad stories, but mostly mostly good mostly, mostly good, good. Right? and bad. mostly <laughs> no mostly good and i can be honest with you if i my patient they don't get result with car or physio we refer them out yeah we, we cannot cure everything we cannot diagnose everything we need more yeah. expertise and sometimes we need other health practitioners to yeah. join us and we refer them out to family doctor and help get the help of other professionals or other practitioners to help us that one of the successful story I have, especially with the kids, uh, like I noticed our, our, our young group of uh, kids between maybe 12 to 6, or maybe because my son is in that age group, I am more uh, concerning. I noticed that the posture is really changing on them. And then also they're, uh, they're, they don't notice that because the parents are so busy with their lifestyle. And then they start shaping their neck and their, uh, like, you know, shoulders are... Uh, uh, very very change and then um, sometimes with those people I can get a great result you know yeah. with two three sessions of just teaching them how to sit how to do your stretches in I can see an amazing result on their posture yeah. what do you think with the young group is yeah, they, they recover good. very fast yeah. instead of like other age group that you need to work a lot on their posture so yeah, that's one of my successful history especially during pandemic I noticed that uh, uh, my young generation's uh, patients are really suffering from that uh, because usually they are lying on their bed doing their homework or they are at the chicken, uh, sorry, the chicken. Uh, kitchen, chicken, <laughs> kitchen, table, <laughs> kitchen table doing their homework and this is like really wrong and then yeah. they start having some headache you know and with one adjustment all those tension headache goes away yeah. oh my god I really I, I feel amazing yeah, yeah instead of taking experience. Advil you know yeah, exactly I've had similar experiences where like people have had like headaches for most of their life, right? Yeah. And then I was like, you know, they come, they even came from some, for other reason. But when say they're coming one day, they're like, you know, I know my shoulder was hurting or my leg was hurting, but today my, I have just a really bad headache. Can we reschedule? And I said, do you mind if I just take a look? And sometimes a lot of the times, I would probably say about 95% of the time, um, basically we find that there's actually an issue that is totally correctable and they've been mm -hmm. taking migraine medications, Advil, using all sorts of things for most of their life because they've seen their family doctor and their family doctor has told them that based on their expertise and their specialization. And maybe they never thought that like this is something a physiotherapist or chiropractor can look at. Mm -hmm. So I agree with you. I've had at least a lot of um, a lot of situations and success stories where, you know, people have had problems for years and then we help them realize that it's reversible exactly. and something can get better and they're literally in tears. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's, and then like instead of taking Advil every day, yeah. right now they don't know what is Advil. So exactly. I think those are really good, uh, yeah. like, you know, successful stories. The other thing, bad story, um, like, you know, I, I usually, as I mentioned to you, if my patients, they don't respond to chiropractic care, uh, and they uh, they are not qualified, or they they are they 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 the physio in past didn't give them any any result. Usually, I refer them back to the family doctor, and I ask for more expertise as, as a like you know mm -hmm. orthopedic surgeon referral, or yeah. um, like you know some other physician they can help and us. I think that's important. You mm -hmm. have to be humble. Like a yeah. lot of times, I know as a patient. Yeah, we I don't know rather, everything. Exactly. I'd rather somebody be straight up with me and just say, you know what, I'm not actually I don't know. I don't think I know the answer why this doesn't make sense. Let me send you to somebody else. And I think people yeah. would appreciate that. And that's something that I like that we have here. That we're yeah. honest with. I think if patients are not getting better, with what do you think? With four to six treatment, there is no any improvement. I don't think so. Chiropractic and physio is a yeah. good uh, option for them. Yeah. Uh, so sometimes they are just uh, psychology issue can be exactly. handled. And they yeah, maybe it's the treat, stress. Exactly. Yeah, you have to treat the whole body, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's both mental, emotional, yeah. and physical. physical. You can't exactly. do all of them. But maybe yeah. that's going to be... Another topic for Dr. Raphael to explore at another time if yeah. he brings us back. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. but uh, as I said, uh, in the Kent Caromed Wellness 
at least we have more good stories yeah. guys can go yeah. to our youtube and yeah, see look that at our reviews. yeah I mean, you know thank god like yeah. god bless everything but like a lot of people are really happy yeah and, and we really good. appreciate a- any feedback or anything that can improve our care mm-hmm. because as i said uh, we are we are here to help and we are here to grow and we are trying to just kind of offer the best of our our expertise best of our our, 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 our services to our patients. And that's one of the things that I think in Caro teams, uh, Dr. Rafael, Dr. Courtney, Donna, me, all of us, uh, mm-hmm. you, uh, sometimes I question you, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Omnia, don't forget the <laughs> Omnia, yeah, Omnia, back. great, yeah. yeah. All of and us, everybody else in the yeah, honestly, in future, I yeah. think it is, is the care and the expertise and that, that you are trying to help that person yeah. is the most important. Yes. Well, well said, Dr. Maram. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for listening to us, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Maram. Thank you for having me. And, having me and your... I really appreciate yeah. you because I was nervous, but you make it easy. Uh-huh. Like, uh, I, I, it's so funny. I was um, reading last night to be prepared. And then they said, uh, when you do podcasting or doing the uh, playing uh, in the in the theater or mm-hmm. playing in this uh, movie, I think Dr. Rami can help us with that. It's important who is at the front of you because it can make yeah. your job easy or hard, but you did a great job. I, yep. I give yep. the credit thank to you, you. Thank and you. thank you, applause. Dr. Ra- Please, Dr. Rafael, insert the applause. In yeah, here. exactly. Yeah. And uh, I, I, do, I like to take the, I, I like to thank Dr. Rafael too, because mm-hmm. uh, Rami, Dr. Rami is really yeah. putting a lot really of time. And hard. usually people ask me, who does the marketing? Who does the things is beautiful and professional? So I'd like to thank, uh, thank Dr. Rami uh, from here. And I hope uh, we are going to just enjoy yeah. uh, the rest of the Ken Karomet uh, uh, journey. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you so much again, once, once again, for listening. Remember to follow us on social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, we're on there. Uh, we'll leave the links for you guys in the description. So make sure you check it out. Until then, uh, stay healthy, be safe. Goodbye. Okay, God bless you. Bye.